Okay, well, since you're not awake, thanks for the best welcome home presents I could have ever asked for. Mm, a date at my favorite burger place, a new sweater, you and me, all night like we were starving. thought that might get a reaction out of you. No, or are you just going to lie there and smile at me from there? Like a little smuggins? Or are you going to come give me some of that body warmth? <laughs> well, that's what I thought. Hey, those are my lips you're playing with. Oh, really? They're yours now? <clears throat> oh, well... It has been a while, so I suppose you can have them, but it's going to cost you. Hmm, let me think. Something yummy. It's going to cost you five cupcakes. Yeah. Well, or you can just be my cupcake. I don't know how long it takes to finish you off, but I'm game for trying. I can go get some sprinkles from the kitchen. And I don't think you need anything else on this morning. No, baby, you can't put whipped cream on a cupcake. And that's just weird. <laughs> uh, you know, I missed our weird, stupid talks in bed. Yeah, I love how hyper you've been since I got back. Usually it takes everything in the world to wake you up. Mm. Yeah. Maybe I should just take a week away from home more often. How would you like that? <laughs> well, I could get used to this kind of treatment. Uh, don't pout, babe. I'm just kidding. The whole trip. Ugh. The time difference was stupid. The city was crowded. Well, I'm mean, obviously it's a city. Being that far away when I needed you just left this really bad taste in my mouth about the whole thing. I really wanted it to be good, but the best part of the trip was coming back home. That and leaving you lovey messages in the morning. Dirty messages. What? Sent nothing of the sort, babe. <laughs> Wait, no, don't get your phone out. The last thing I want to see right now is my cringy messages to you. Mm, I'd much rather look at you. Yeah. A whole week without these little hands in mine. Yeah, give me them. I missed each little fingertip. This one. This one. Well, especially this one. A whole week without these sweaty palms. <laughs> what are these places in between fingers called? Okay, whatever. We're just going to call them finger pits. Yeah, without your finger pits in mine. <laughs> then a whole week without putting these pouty lips of yours to good use. And these cute cheeks and this schnoz that I love to kiss. And lying in bed just doesn't feel right unless you're right here on me. Well, that's true. I'm not always under you, but I'd like to be. It's a pretty good place to be, all things considered. I like the view from here. And it's definitely better than a cold, nasty hotel room. Mm. Actually, no, baby, the hotel was pretty nice. But our bed is definitely a step up. And you're, you know, 
it's like slightly better than the pillows there. So, <laughs> hey, 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 I'm not starting anything. Yeah, I know I'm in trouble anyways. I know. I'm sorry, kitten. I'll be more careful next time. It's not like I had a choice about this whole thing. It was for business, babe. Sometimes you gotta go where they need you. Well, I need you too, but... You know, it actually feels really good to hear you say you need me. Mm, yeah, come here. Mm. But if you like this place and a big full fridge and going out together on the weekend, then I got to make money. Um, besides, I didn't expect to get in an accident there. Yeah, sweetie pie. No, never again. Next time I get hurt, I'll get your permission, okay? You satisfied? Good. <clears throat> when it happened, getting a hold of you was the only thing on my mind. Yeah, of course I meant what I said. Would have said it if I didn't mean it. Besides... I've been thinking a lot about us since I left that message. I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Wait, scooch over here. This whole trip, like I, I don't want to scare you off or anything. It's been, what, three months since we started this. But I've never been this close to someone before. It's weird. Even when I was far away, I would see something that I thought you'd like. And I wished you were there with me. We were adventuring together. And you know what I said about dreaming of our future, the things that I want to do with you, and the things that I want to make. It's not something I've ever said to anyone else before. I've honestly never been in a seriously committed long-term relationship. Sure, I've dated people for a while, but honestly, my love life feels kind of patchwork at best. I feel like we're different, though. After my first relationship, I kind of went off the rails. But I don't know. And we're definitely different. I wouldn't say this unless I thought you felt the same way. When you kissed me at the airport and started freaking out and... I don't know. When you started freaking out at me, I guess I realized maybe I met someone who cares for me, mind and body, the same way I care for you. I was thinking about this on the flight home. I want to take you home to my family. I've been in the city for a year now, and I haven't gone back home. It's super long overdue. Do you think you could get some time off? I mean, only if you want to. If you don't, it, it's okay. I just thought... Maybe, you know, it's, it's an idea. There's no pressure or anything, babe. If you don't want to, it's okay. I, I would totally understand. Really? You like that? Okay. Um. Sweet. Yeah. No, babe, you're, you're going to love it. <laughs> Oh, this this is awesome. Have I brought anyone else to meet my family? No. I, I'm, yeah, I brought my other girlfriend there. You know, the one I keep under the bed. <laughs> no, babe, no. You're the first. 
Hey, don't be nervous, sweetie. Don't. They're gonna love you like I do. Hey, hey, look at me. They're gonna love you. Mm, mm, you know how cute you look when you get all bright eyed and happy. <laughs> hey, careful kicking your legs. I'm still injured. Mm, mm, uh, oh, I take it you're really happy. Well, you only kiss my neck when you're happy. Oh, hey, hey, those teeth are sharp. Uh, hey, slow down, baby. We've got all the time in the world now that I'm back home. And you're not leaving this bed today. No. Besides, it's my turn to play. You worked hard enough last night. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm a little sore, but my mouth is still perfectly usable. Mm. Yeah. I haven't had my favorite cupcake for a whole week. So why don't you just lie back and let me get some of you on me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't take much convincing. Mm. It's my turn to give you my welcome home present. 